Hey Master Gardeners, it's a nice sunny day in late March and I wanted to show you the, some beautiful bulbs that I have in flower in my garden. I just think these little scillas are some of the most beautiful little naturalized bulbs that I've ever had. They've spread throughout my bed in the last 15 years. Most often you associate little short bulbs like this with a rock garden. Believe me, this is no rock garden. This is just a woodland garden with perennials mixed in. But I just love this spectacular ice blue color. They have a little blue stripe on the petal. I hope you'll be able to zoom in a little to see how beautiful they are. They have an interesting name. It's Scylla, something with an M. It's named after a botanist. Has such a long, weird name that supposedly they think it was changed to Tuber... Rosa or something like that just because the name was so complicated, which is just crazy botanical confusion. But they're called little wood wood squills as a common name. And they kind of look like a spring beauty, don't they? And they bloom the same time the spring beauties are in flower out in the woods. So that's a good way to help you remember the name maybe, like the ornamental version of the spring beauty but lovely little bulbs, but also in bloom here in my garden. I have some ice folly daffodils that are coming in now. The varieties of daffodils are endless, hundreds of kinds. There's narcissus that have long cups, small cups, miniatures, doubles. I've got one little miniature coming up on the far side. It's a little tete-a-tete. -tete. And I got some big old King Alfreds around here. Some people refer to the word John Quill, for, but it's still a narcissus anyway you look at it. And you know that word narcissus should indicate, you know, a uh, personality type that's kind of like, woo, off the charts. That's because these do have poisonous properties and you don't want to have any animals eating them if you have a pet or anything. But there's one advantage of that. Your dog, your deer don't come in your garden when you have these. They don't eat them. And so that's been wonderful. I have other bulbs in here, which are the little grape hyacinths. They do have a deer problem and they will eat the foliage off of that one. But for the most part, they don't touch my wood squill. They don't touch my narcissus. In a second, I think we'll have a, we'll, in the, later in the season, we'll look at some of my onions. I've got ornamental onions coming up later on. But let's just talk about bulbs. What kind of soil do they need? They prefer a loamy soil something that's loose with some sand in it. They don't like to be waterlogged, ever. So if you have a heavy clay soil, that can even create problems. You would incorporate organic matter into your soil to make it a little bit lighter. About every 10 or 15 years, I'm out here digging my bulbs and spreading them out and separating them and dividing them and moving them to different places, just so my clumps don't get so big that my flowers stop developing. Do I fertilize? Uh, not really. I don't do much on my narcissus. If I'm fertilizing anything else in the bed, I figure they're getting a touch of fertilizer. If you wanted to feed yours, you would put a little fertilizer on top of them when you plant them. You would put a little fertilizer when they're coming into bloom. And then after the flowers have died and dried and the foliage is still there, that would be the most crit critical time to fertilize your narcissus or any bulb. And remember, you can't braid them. You can't fold them up. You're not supposed to do any of those because every time you do that, you're reducing the photosynthetic activity on it. So if you take it and bend it, all those little factories inside that have an important job of replenishing energy to the bulb, when you put them in the shade, you are ruining the factory and it cannot contribute to the energy feed that's supposed to flow into the bulb. So don't bend them down and tie them up and don't tear the foliage off too early. That's why the ones that the county plants on the roadsides, that's why they don't bloom year after year because somebody's coming in and mowing off the foliage when it has that important job to replenish the strength of the bulb. So that's your lesson on those. Good full sun is best. They can take six, six hours of sun. If you have special cultivars that have pink in them, you're supposed to make sure they're in partial shade because the sun will bleach the pink portions out of your narcissus. Other than that, bulbs are so easy to care for. When these are gone, I'll have cone flowers in here and different kinds of Rebecca. So, hope you enjoyed the little wood scylla today. Good to see you, Master Gardeners.